Hey everybody and welcome to the very first episode of London Majors Baseball TV. My name is Kyle Martin along with Noah Smith and Noah. This is both of our first years being on the broadcast. I will be a part of every single home game, you know, doing the, the in-game announcements and everything like that. Noah, you're going to be a part of every single game for the season. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to get a lot of opportunities to meet fans and as well as entertain you guys. Like you mentioned, Kyle, I'm going to be on the road and at home doing live streams all season long, so it's going to be exciting to bring you guys Majors Baseball throughout the course of the summer. And you know when spring starts to come in, baseball season is in the air, and we can't wait to get things started. Unfortunately, last year, London had a bit of a disappointing first round exit to the Hamilton Cardinals. A little bit of a retribution game. They get them right off the bat to start the season. Maybe an early win can get momentum going early on in the season. Yeah, and the mindset of the returning guys is going to be exactly that, because of course they're going to remember that early finish last year to Hamilton in the playoffs. And they're going to look to continue that right off the hop. Hamilton, first game of the season. And obviously as we look ahead to the season, we're looking back at some of the players that are going to be returning for the season. And two players come to mind. It starts with Cleveland Brownlee and Byron Reichstein. And those two players are going to be essential. Cleveland obviously led the way with 12 home runs and 46 RBI. He will be the main contributor to this team this season. Yeah, he's the number one bat on this team, and it's good to see him getting back this year for the majors. Byron as well, those guys are going to be a good one-two bat in that lineup for the majors. Two big power sticks for sure. Yeah, Byron, no slouch. Eight home runs, 37 RBIs himself. Both those guys are going to be essential this season. And obviously with the new season, the majors are going to be implementing some new players into the fold this upcoming season. One of them is Steve Rose. He actually played for the majors back in 2012, so we're almost reintroducing him to the team. But last year, he played for St. Thomas. He was batting 418, while also driving in 25 RBIs as well. Another guy that's going to be coming over, Jonathan DeForest. He's played over at McGill. He batted 338 last year. And another guy, lastly, Jonathan Thibodeau, another player at and the big thing about these guys is that they can get on base. We talk a lot about Cleveland and Byron, how they can drive those runs in. Well, there are the runs that they're going to be driving in. These guys getting on base and doing their thing by getting the inning started. And finally, another player that's going to be added to this roster is Maul Pena. He's going to be coming over from the Seattle Mariners program. Always exciting when a guy like that comes over to this team. Yeah, it's always exciting when you get these four minor league prospects that come to London and play for the majors. So he's going to be one of those guys that's going to be really exciting to watch this year. Yeah, and with this season, a few different individuals are going to be gunning for some milestones this season. We're going to start with Skip Root, Chandra Dad, who's going to be looking for his 300th career win in the IBL. That would be absolutely massive if he was able to attain that this season. Yeah, another one that's looking for a milestone is Byron. Byron's going to be going for his 200th career IBL RBI, which would be absolutely fantastic for him as well. Yeah, and Mike Ambrose, lastly, going to be looking for hit number 200. All three of those, very attainable this season if the majors have a good season. Hopefully, we can see it all unfold. Now, overall, both of us are looking forward to this upcoming season. A few different dates to mark on your calendars as they come into play. May 26 is going to be a lot of fun. That is Superhero Day here at the Bat Park. We're going to be taking on the Well and Jackfish. Funny enough, that's going to be the very first time that they come here. So that should be an awesome one. Yeah, and another one is going to be a classic Father's Day game falling on June 16th this year. It's always a full house here, so make sure you come on down here. Check us out as we take on the Barry Bay Cats. Yeah, and speaking of Barry, we're going to get a chance to play them right here at the Bat Park on Canada Day. Another game where the house is normally pretty packed. Barry for here, not just for the Father's Day game, but for Canada Day as well. Overall, both of us, I'm looking forward to the season. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's going to be one heck of a season for sure. We're really excited.